Yo, what's up guys, it's your boy Anizi with What If Naruto Is Betrayed and we're back in time part 1. So guys, before we start, the fight with Ishiki went a bit differently. When Naruto used Baron Mood, Krama didn't die but was knocked out for a few days. He had a 50% chance of dying but Naruto used the 6th pass mode to heal Kurama. Also, Naruto defeated a stronger Ishiki who ate a chocolate fruit which means that Ishiki had the Rinne Shangun. Naruto also got Ishiki's karma seal because he defeated him. So we see Naruto being surrounded by the Shinobi Lions as Hinata comes up to him and kisses him. I believe in you Naruto kun Hinata said. Naruto, we believe in you. For the humans, you must eliminate this threat, the new Raikage said. Naruto, make sure to kill them all, Gara said. After that, Naruto was off to the Osusuke planet with the solo mission of eliminating the Osuskis. You ready, Kit? Kurama said. Yeah, Kurama. Would you? Of course I am, Naruto said. After a week of space travel, Naruto makes it to the planet where he was ambushed by the Osusuke army. Naruto takes on the army of Osuskis and in a few years, he is done. In the Osusuke world, the time is different. Naruto spends years on the Osusuke planet facing the Osuskis. After a battle for up to like 5 years on the Osusuke planet time, Naruto finally gets to the king where he gets the upper hand and beats the king. But was stopped by a girl running up to him trying to stop him but she ended up tripping and hugging him. Naruto looked at her and saw that she was cute. Naruto blushed but stopped. This was the enemy and he had Naruto. Naruto wasn't attracted to Naruto but he married her so he would at least make sure that he kept his vows. Please, please stop. Don't kill my dad. I'll do anything. I'll even give myself to you, she cried. Mikra, don't, the king yelled. No, father. We need you. I need you alive. I'll do anything even if it means being a slave. Yes, just to be with you. You're the only one who cared for me after mother died, she said. Naruto felt bad. Naruto then put his hand on her head. Naruto thought about what he was going to do and what his mission was. His mission was to be basic like Obito, killing someone's family, destroying a whole race. And that would lead for the Osuskis coming for revenge which will result in more bloodshed. Naruto then decided he would try and stop this and end this war through peaceful means instead of through violence. Because by doing this he will be no different from Obito and Madra who killed many during the fourth shinobi war. Don't worry I won't kill your dad and you won't have to do anything you don't want to Naruto said rubbing her head and giving her a smile. Mikko then blushed as she enjoyed the feeling of Naruto's hands on her head. Naruto then gave her a small hug before going to the king and helping him up. Thinking of Hinata was the reason why Naruto quickly moved on from the Osusuke girl. He felt a bit of an attraction to her but he wasn't going to cheat. The king looked at Naruto with shock who asked, What do you want boy? And Naruto said, I want to work out a peaceful agreement between us so that we don't have to do unnecessary bloodshed. The king thought about it for a bit. He saw the kindness in Naruto's eyes. Even though the Osuskis had killed thousands of Naruto's people, Naruto still spared him for his daughter and he was a strong warrior. He also grew to respect Naruto in the fight. He also never killed anyone, knocking them out and placing a seal to restrain them. Very well, the king said, while his daughter looked surprised. No one has ever commanded or even her father never agreed with anyone before. She blushed at that. After agreeing on her alliance, Nata had stayed on the Suski planet for 10 years. Only a little time had passed in the elemental nation. Him and Mikra had gotten closer. She had replaced Hinata in his heart, but it hurt knowing that he was going to leave her for Nata. He had managed to stay faithful to Nata though. Mikra had admired that, but she was also jealous of that. Nata had told Mikra about his backstory, about how he was treated in the village before he became a hero. Mikra was originally pissed at that when she heard what happened to Nata and his childhood. She was happy that everybody believed in him but she somehow found that hard to believe and found it fishy which is why she asked to go with him back to his planet as a peace agreement. He let her come because he wanted her to be a peace of mind that he was safe. Nata Mikra then went back to the elemental nations. When he was near to the elemental nations, Sasuke has alerted the whole shinobi alliance. They were going to put their plan into action now. When they got near to the elemental nations, Nata told Mikra to wait so he can alert the shinobi alliance not to attack her on sight because she was now a friendly. Nata landed on earth to see the alliance. Ah, Naruto, has the mission been done? Gara asked. Naruto nodded with a smile. Sasuke got a smile on his face and then he came over. Naruto saw him wearing the Hokage outfit and was shocked. Sasuke, why are you wearing the Hokage outfit? Naruto asked. Dobe, it's because I'm the Hokage, Sasuke said. Oh, they must have made him a temporary Hokage, Naruto thought. Naruto then went to Naruto to hug her, but he was 64 palmed in the chest. Stay away from me, you demon. Your life's purpose is done. To be used as a weapon and discarded. You're no longer needed anymore, so we're gonna discard a few now, Naruto said. Naruto was looking on the floor. He looked up for some help to see the whole shinobi lines looking at him with a dark look. Naruto Uzumaki, by the votes of all Kages, you've been deemed expendable and a threat to peace, Gara said. What do you mean Naruto asked? Stupid dope, don't you understand? You're being used like Majo was being used by Zetsu. 
You were a puppet for us masters to control, a mere attack dog for the village as Lord Third planned. First, you were used to protect the village, then you were used to protect the world, and finally you were used to eliminate the Osuskis, Sasuke said. So in simple terms, your usefulness has run out, so we're gonna kill you now, Sakura said. But before you die, bring them out, Hinata ordered, as the shinobi brought two figures who were beaten and bruised. Nato looked to see it was Boruto and Himawari that was being dragged out. They were beaten, they were bleeding all over. Sasuke and Hinata went up and kicked them repetitively. No stop, what are you doing? Nato yelled out, trying to run to Himawari and Boruto but was stopped. When Seals appeared and restrained him, and Sand was encasing him. He saw Gara and Karen with a dark smile on their face. Before you die, you demonic spawn. I never cared for you. It was a mission to control you, ordered by Lord Hokage and the elders. Also, I had another kid with Sasuke while we were gone, Hinata said as her kid came up and hugged her. Hinata looked up with his eyes widened. Hinata had cheated on him while he was gone, but was snapped out of it. Also, you're such an idiot. You didn't realize that I gave my virginity to Sasuke-kun. I liked him, not you. I was forced by the elders as a mission to control you, Hinata said, as she kicked Boruto in the face, forcing him to bleed again. Mom, why? Boruto said as Hinata punches him. Don't call me mother boy. You are born in a lab using Hanabi's cells. I never even wanted you to be my child. You're an unwanted and useless piece of shit. All you did was attract aliens with Naruto genes, like father like son, always causing trouble, Hinata said. Also Naruto, I enjoyed beating Boruto and especially Himawari because she always screamed her daddy would come and save her until she broke, Sakura said. Naruto got enraged. Shut up Sakura, don't ever talk about Himawari like that. You're dead as soon as I'm out of here. You hear that, Naruto said, and you, Hinata. Don't ever say such things like that, Boruto. He's worth more than you, you useless piece of trash, Naruto said enraged. You are no position to make threats. You're just a tool for us to use and be discarded, Hinata said as she knocked him out again. The shinobis then started with the preparation for the execution. Naruto awoke in his mindscape. Kurama, what's going on? Naruto asked. I don't know, kid. All I can say is those despicable humans use you and are about to throw you away. They're currently planning your execution and I've been sealed off so I can't help you, Kurama said. So why did you bring me here? Naruto said. He didn't bring you here. I did, a voice said. Naruto's eyes widened as Ishiki came up. Ishiki, what do you want? Naruto said. Boy, I've seen you take on my clansmen and I've seen you work out an agreement with our respected king. I'm going to respect you, boy, and I respected you mostly when you beat me, but now I respect you even more. So this is a one-time deal. When you wake up, use my karma seal to alert the princess and then use it to escape. To think the human, to think the humans are this bad, we are right to end them. And to think that the human took the ice princess's heart, Shiki said, laughing at the end. Nato was blushing. Why are you helping me? I killed you. Don't you want revenge? Don't you want to see me suffer? Nato asked. Boy, I saw your life. I saw all of your memories when I entered here. I saw you trained to get these humans approval and now I've seen you being backstabbed by these ungrateful scumbags. I'm impressed. However, there's another reason. If you die, I die forever and I lose my source of entertainment and I faded to nothingness. So, boy, that's the reason I help you, Ishiki said. Naruto then woke up. Naruto then began to flare his chakra, alerting the princess with Mikra. Quick, that's Narukun's chakra, she said, as her and her guards started flying towards the elemental nations. Naruto was then awake. He was in handcuffs as he was looking at a stage. People of the elemental nations, as you know, we've been invaded by aliens. I came to tell you that we successfully taken out the threat, but today we're here to eliminate the cause of the threats and the cause of all our problems. Boruto Uzumaki, Himawari Uzumaki and Naruto Uzumaki, Sasuke said. Everyone apart from Naruto cheered. Kill the demon spawn, Leaf Shinobi yelled. Kill the threats for peace, the civilians yelled, even Tosno. Dad, help us, Himawari yelled. As the crowd started to laugh at Himawari's pleas and Naruto struggling to break out of the seals. Hinata then came out and started to beat Himawari and Boruto. Mom, stop. Why are you doing this, Himawari yelled. She was bleeding all over. She was crying. She was begging for Hinata to stop, but Hinata just laughed and continued beating her even more harsher. Hinata screamed out in anger and this went on for an hour as the crowd started throwing rocks. At Himawari and Boruto. They screamed for Naruto to help them. Naruto was helpless to help. Hinata then proceeded to behead them. She smiled at Naruto. Naruto was disgusted. How could someone just kill their own child and smile? Naruto cried out seeing his kids' heads on the floor dead. How dare you? Naruto yelled as his karma seal flared up, releasing a lot of chakra decaying the seals as he attacked the shinobi alliance, easily killing most of them as he carried on killing the people that were there. Hinata then did some hand signs. Naruto fell to the ground, his head burning. Gotta love the cage bird seal, Hinata said. Naruto was then dragged to the stage. He was crying for the people he lost, Himari, Boruto, as his hatred grew. People of the elemental nations, we have Naruto Uzumaki, the main reasons of the nine to 
looked at and also the reason for the Akatsuki and the fourth shinobi war. Finally, the Osuskis were after him and his son. He has brought us only trouble and suffering. And now we shall take revenge, Sasuke said. He nutted and came up and was about to kill him, but was stopped by Mikra, who sent her flying away with a Shinra Tensei. I thought you said you killed them, Sasuke yelled out, seeing his girlfriend bleeding. I said the mission to stop them from attacking was done, not killing them, Nata said. You idiot, that was the mission, Sasuke shouted as Mikra looked at Nata, breaking him out of the chains. Do it, Nata said, as Mikra summoned the god tree. Humans, you chose to betray the rug man she said angry not told her his story she knew that they would never change the ways and backstab him eventually to think all of the humans would even the ones that he helped like tosna she looked at nato who was beyond her broken he had just seen his children get tortured and killed right in front of him Nata activated his karma seal as he felt so much power it seems like Ishiki was actually angry and actually wanting to help him. He then went up to Hinata and punched her repetitively. Then he grabbed her by the neck and slammed her down on the ground. He then ripped out her eyes and then snapped her arms. He then kicked her repetitively on the stomach as he replaced his eyes with her eyes. Nata's eyes then proceeded to transform into the Rinitensi gun. Nata then proceeded to beat her up until she died. Sasuke yelled out in rage. How dare you hurt my second wife demon Sasuke yelled. Nata didn't respond. He was in a berserk mode. He then grabbed Sasuke's eyes, pulled them out and crushed them right in front of him. Nata then cast a genjutsu on Sasuke, a dying Itachi telling him how he's a disappointment. Sasuke then sees his mom and dad saying how he failed the clan. His mom was disappointed in him. Nata then cut off Sasuke's dick with a rusty blade as he screamed out in pain. He then replaced Sasuke's eyes with a civilian's eyes so he could see what Nata was going to do. Nata then killed off Sadra in front of Sasuke and also him and Hinata's sons right in front of him. An eye for an eye. Himawari and Boruto were the one you killed. So I've avenged my children by killing out your ones. Nata said slowly as he let Sasuke bleed out. The rest of the humans were turned into a chakra fruit which Nata ate as he, as Mikra let him. His Asha chakra then became the dominant chakra in him, turning him into a 75% Osuski. Mikra saw Nata look broken. Mikra then ran up to him, hugged him and said, Narukun, are you okay? They all gone Mikra, Boruto and Himawari. I never even got to show them to you. He Nata killed her and him. Their own mother killed them, Nata said crying. Why, I did everything for them. I won the last shinobi war for them. I restored peace and I helped stop your clan from invading them. And they paid me back by killing my own children in front of me. Hinata, their own mother, killed them. Why? Why did they do it? Boruto helped them and little Himawari never did anything. She was innocent, Nata said as he cried out and his chakras started to spike randomly. I hate them. I hate them all. I want them to suffer. I want them to suffer for what, for what they've done to me. To Boruto, to Himawari, Nata said. When they got to the Osuski planet, the king was told everything. Over time, he had come to see Nato as a son. So he had told them about a jutsu that can send Nato back in time but with his daughter because they needed Osuski to travel back in time with them. They were also taught a jutsu so that they can make people remember the future. It had been a few years since Nato had came to the Osuski planet. He had been trained by other Osuskis but other than that he had gotten really closer to Mikra. Like they started dating again. So Nata, are you sure you want to go back in time my boy? The king said. Yes, and I thank you for this opportunity. I'll bring glory to the Osuski father-in-law, Nata said. Nata's love for humanity had been erased. Mikra also blushed at the comment that Nata made, calling her father father-in-law. I know you were my boy, especially since my daughter Mikra has chosen you, the king said. Mikra blushed. Dad, don't, she said, turning away from Nata as Nata hugged her. Don't worry, Mikra, you're beautiful and there's no need to be embarrassed, he said. Okay, you two, that's enough. The full moon is out, so now we just need to redirect the moon's energy to you and then you'll do the hand signs and you'll be sent to the past, the king said. They did that, then time froze and started to rewind. Nata was back in his kid body, in his bed. He knew that this was straight after the scroll of ceiling because he had just gotten his headband. So it worked, Nata thought. Yep, kid, I could feel my past self as well, Ishiki said. Kid, we have a problem. Come in here now, Kurama said. Nata went to his mindscape to see a tentered fox. Kurama, what happened? When you time travelled, I must have pulled all of my chocolate. Kurama said. Nata then looked behind Kurama to see another Kurama, a nine-tailed version. Who are you and why are you here? The past Kurama screamed out to the future Kurama. Future Kurama then explained everything. Kurama then calmed down. So Kit, what's the plan? Kurama said. We wait for Mikra to come, Nata said. It was team selection day. Nata had used his yin yang release to create a grey and black tracksuit but modified the material inside to make it more durable. We now see Nata jumping from building to building, avoiding everyone. He could easily kill all but wanted to make them suffer. Nato arrived and suddenly went to the back of the class, standing in the back in the shadows so nobody can see him, as he saw the two fangos come in, saying they won the race when they both drawed clearly. After a bit, Hinata came in and Nato let his blood slip unintentionally 
as well as the Tento's Kurama Okura as Naruto called him. He Naruto fell down. Everyone laughed, including Naruto, but his was silent. Then Iruka came in and noticed Naruto's tracksuit. He thought a prank went wrong and Naruto got covered in pain. Ha, <laughs> serves you right, demon, Iruka said. Good morning, class. I hope you're all well. I'm happy that you all passed, Iruka said. But Sensei, Naruto Baka didn't pass, Saka said, as she felt a powerful killing intent coming towards her which made her fall of her seat and she landed with her lips on Kiba's lips. Everyone started to laugh. He passed, Iruka said with hidden rage. Oh really then, why is it he here then? Saka said. Look behind to the shadows of the room, Iruka said, as all the people turned to see Naruto. They were shocked. The dobe had hidden so well. So anyways, now for the teams, Iruka said, as... They all went to Kano. We now see Naruto and Team 7 waiting for Kakashi. We now go to Mikra's point of view. The guards were worried. The Princess Mikra had been knocked out and her power kept on expanding and rising. She was getting stronger, stronger than the king himself. But what worried them was the fact that the king will have their heads if she doesn't wake up. An hour passes by and she woke up. My princess, you're awake, the guard said, breathing a sigh of relief. Naruto Kunchi yells out but realizes the mistake as she tightens down. Sorry, my princess, who, the guard said. Don't worry about it. Mikra snapped back. Blushing, of course my princess, the guard said. Escort me to my father now, Mikra said as the guard obeyed. We now see Mikra before her father who was with the nobles. Mikra then used the jutsu which made them remember the future. The king then runs and hugs his daughter while the queen was happy that she had found someone. A guy who loved her for her, not for her body, not for her status, not for her power, but just for her. My daughter, I presume you got a plan to help the next prince, Miyuki the Osusuki queen said. Yes mum, I do, Mikra said as she explained the plan. We now go back to Naruto's point of view. Kakashi had arrived surprised that Naruto hadn't pranked him, but sure as the demon was in shock of finding out about his past. They then go to the top of the school building. I'm your sensei, Kakashi Hatake, and today we'll start off with introductions. All introductions go to canon apart from Naruto's. My name is Naruto Nama. Naruto quickly stopped himself from saying his dad's surname and Osusuke by accident. My lights are a certain fox a certain someone and the fourth Hokage and the Red Death of Thief. My dislikes includes humans in general since they are a very hateful species, the ninja world itself and those who use others. Naruto said, Back here, you think you're cool don't you? Sasuke can cooler than you, Sakura said. Both Kurama and Ishiki had to stop Naruto from burning her down. Stupid fango, Naruto said to himself. So now that we're done, meet me here tomorrow for the test, Kakashi said. What test sensei? We passed already, Sakura said as Kakashi explained the test. Everyone left as Naruto went straight home shocking everyone that he didn't wait for Sakura. Naruto lied in his bed as he was pulled into his mindscape. He then saw Mikra as they both hugged. I miss you Mikra-chan, Naruto said. I miss you too Naruto-kun, Mikra said. So is the plan ready, Naruto said. Mikra nodded. Good, Naruto said as they both chilled together in the mindscape as they cuddled together. The next day, Naruto came in late, a minute before Kakashi arrived. He also ate a full breakfast with lunch. He then body flickered to the top of the tree so that Sasuke and Sakura wouldn't notice him. Kakashi arrived, he swore everyone as Naruto let his chakra signature be read by Kakashi. So now that we're all here, we will start, Kakashi said. Wait, since the buck isn't here, that means he's disqualified and we win automatically, Sakura said happily. Nope, Kakashi said as he pointed to the tree above. As they saw Naruto in the view smiling at Sakura making her angry, Sasuke was shocked. He couldn't even sense the dude. He'd been hiding his talent. Sasuke fought, clenching his fist. Kakashi spot. Kakashi spotted this and got angry at Naruto as he nailed his eyes at Naruto. So you can hide Baka, that's all you're good for, Sasuke can better, making Sasuke feel better. Kakashi noticed this and smirked, that's why she's on the team, to put the demon down and to get Lord Uchiha's ego up, he thought. So anyways, let's start, Kakashi said as he explained the rules. Start, Kakashi said, as Sasuke charged towards Kakashi as he was feeling inferior, with Sakura helping him. Kakashi was ordered to go weak on Sasuke and Sakura. As he let Sasuke hit him, but sent him flying into Sakura with a kick. Oops, too much power, Kakashi thought to himself, as Naruto watched the massacre. Sakura then led an assault, as she punched uh, Kakashi unconsciously, summoning Chakra into her arm, creating a weaker version of Sanade's strength. She then hit Kakashi's arm, but it wasn't even bruised. Is she that weak? Creating a worse version of Sanade's strength should have at least injured him, Naruto thought. Sasuke used a fireball, but Kakashi used a giant water bullet to put it out. Kakashi had enough and trapped Sakura in a Genjutsu knocking her out. He then engaged in Taijutsu with Sasuke wrecking him. He then used Earth Jutsu to trap Sasuke. Naruto then appeared using a body flicker. A body flicker? Looks like he stole more than one Jutsu from the scroll, Kakashi thought to himself surprised. Get me out, dobe, Sasuke yelled as Naruto walked past him getting into the Hokage Taijutsu stance. Kura, give me some chakra, Naruto said as the purified Tentos chakra came into Naruto, enhancing his strength. 
Kakashi was shot. Is this the Nine Tails giving his chocolate to the demon willingly? He thought, Naruto, aren't you going to help your teammates? Kakashi said, I have no teammates, Naruto said, as he rushed towards Kakashi with a punch. Kakashi used his arm to block, but it was shattered with the power of the Nine Tails chocolate flowing through Naruto's arm. Kakashi tried to punch Naruto, but Naruto grabbed him by the arm, spun him around and threw him into the sky as he blurred on top of Kakashi and punched him to the ground, making Kakashi get stuck into the ground. He then grabbed the bells. The timer went up. Naruto then helped Kakashi out as he was pretending to be nice to him. Congratulations, Naruto. So you got the bells. Who are you going to give the other one to? Naruto threw a single bell on the ground. The purpose of this test was a teamwork. So share the bell, Naruto said to Sasuke and Sakura as they both nodded. Kakashi was dumbfounded. Naruto, if you knew this, why didn't you help the others? Kakashi said. I wanted to test you. And I'm going to say I'm disappointed with your strength. You didn't even use your eye, Naruto said. How did you know, Kakashi said. The bingo book. I got the bingo book during a prank. I got curious and turned to see these most powerful ninjas and I saw your face. And the name you go by is Kakashi the Copy Ninja, wielder of the Shangad, even though you're not Uchiha, Naruto said, shocking Sasuke. Anyways, can we go home now, Naruto said as Kakashi nodded. We now see Kakashi enter the Hokage's office as everyone was shocked of Naruto's power. I take it you saw the fight, Kakashi said, as Kakashi explained the fight to Hiruzen once again from his point of view. So Kakashi, you think he's working with the Ninetales, but his chakra felt so calm. It's not like the Biji was possessing him or anything like that, Hiruzen asked, confused, as Kakashi nodded. Okay then, you have a Shangan for a reason. Keep an eye on him and use it to control him if he's out of control, Hiruzen said, as Kakashi nodded. Naruto then went home as he spent time with Mikra in his mindscape and updated him on any problems. Not for the next month, sent a blood cone to do his d rank missions for him. And for, until the fateful day of the c rank mission arrived, Naruto got angry that Steve Village and his people supported Broughton and Himawari's execution. Naruto's hatred peaked when he first saw Tazuna enter the gates. Naruto was on top of the building, staring down at Tazuna as he let his killing intent and Tazuna fell down on the floor. The guards thought that he was drunk because he had a smell of beer on him so they escorted him to his hotel room. We now go to Hiruzen's office. Team 7 was called into the office and was given the mission, but the only difference was Naruto had a passive killing intent aimed towards Tazuna, so he, so he only dissed Sakura. We now see Team 7 walking out of the village. Naruto noticed the puddle, which Kakashi noticed. Kakashi, as usual, was attacked by the bandits, but this time Naruto used two kunais taking the heads of Team. Sakura screamed as she saw the blood and fainted. Sasuke had PTSD as he saw Itachi kill his parents in a similar way. Accidentally, he then started to puke. Naruto, you should have left one alive. And this mindless killing isn't needed, Kakashi yelled. Naruto nodded in his mind, but thought you ordered me to kill off all the Osuskis. They then proceeded. Halfway along the way, both Sakura and Sasuke woke up. Sakura yelled at Naruto until Naruto had enough and knocked her out by breaking her nose. Kakashi tried to reprimand Naruto, but he said that she was risking us of getting caught by the enemies, which Kakashi agreed. Sakura then woke up again, but this time was tied up and gagged so she couldn't speak. Suddenly, a fog came in and Kakashi quickly undid the restraints on Sakura as she ran behind Sasuke. Naruto silently laughed at her bitchy behaviour. Zabuza's sword then came flying. Naruto used his Limbo clone to make it so that Sakura's arm got in the way and it got sliced clean off. Sakura screamed out in pain. Naruto started to laugh again silently. Naruto then caught a blade. Oh kid, you caught my blade. Give it back now, Zabuza said, unleashing his killing intent. Nah, I think I'll keep it, Naruto said. Zabuza charged at him. But then Naruto used his arms to block Zabuza's punch as he sliced off arm. So there are good snowies in the leaf, Zabuza said. Kakashi was surprised. Naruto laughed. Zabuza then appeared behind Sakura with the kunai in his, in his arms, with the kunai at her throat. Give me the sword and I'll leave and I'll give her back, Zabuza said. Sakura looked pleadingly at Naruto. Naruto, please, I beg you, just give him the sword. We can still win this, please. I don't want to die. I still need to give birth to the next generation of Uchiha, Sakura said. Naruto, I demand that you give the sword back. We don't give up teammates for the mission, Kakashi said. Don't just do it, Sasuke said. We now skip to Tazuna's house as Kakashi lectured Naruto on teamwork after Naruto almost gave up Sakura's life for the mission. Sakura looked at Naruto with a smug grin, but Naruto being reminded of the grin that she gave after beating Himawari sent killing intent at Sakura knocking her off her feet as Naruto laughed. Weak little shit. I won't save you next time. You're gonna die. I don't care what Sensei says, Naruto said as he walked past her. Kakashi was shocked while Sakura was scared that Naruto won't help her. Naruto went to the force. He then met Haku but offed him this time. He sliced the head off clean. 
We now see Nata sleeping as the fogs came in. Not to kill the fogs, but turn towards Inari and Tsunami. You to help me in the future. Now you will die, Nata said as he swiped the head of Dean. Nata then headed towards the ridge when he was met by someone. So you're the Osusuki I've been sensing, the figure said. Hmm, Black Zetsu, Will of Targa, how may I help you, Nata said. Who are you, Black Zetsu said. You know who I am. I mean, your whole organization plans has to do with me capturing me, extracting the Biju from me, Nata said smiling. How? You're supposed to be a human with the nine tail sealed within him. How are you an Osusuki, the Zetsu asked. Tell me, can you contact Kage, yes or no, Nato said. I ask you something, you answer first, Zetsu said. All will be explained eventually, Nato said as he grabbed Zetsu and started to squeeze his neck. Now tell me, can you contact Kage, yes or no, Nato said. Yes, all you need is an Osusuki and someone close to them like his son or someone. Do you count as someone close to them, Nato said, flaring his killing intent. Yes, yes I do, but why? Zetsu asked. Like I said, you'll find out soon. Now contact her, Nato said, as Zetsu did what was necessary. Suddenly, Nato was enveloped in a light as Kaguya appeared before him. What do you want? Why have you summoned me? Ashra's reincarnation, Kaguya said. That's quite rude for a Suzuki noble like you, especially when you're addressing your future prince, Nato said. What do you mean exactly? Kaguya said. Exactly what I said. I'm the future prince of Ususki. I'm engaged to Mikra Ususki. I'm sure you know of her, Nato said, making Kaguya get shot. What do you mean getting married, Kaguya said, getting angry. Let me explain everything that has happened, or that will happen soon, Nato said. As he explained the future, his goals, and everything that had happened to him, shocking both Kaguya and Zetsu, making Kaguya feel a bit sad for him. So what does that mean for me? Why did you have Zetsu contact me, Kaguya said, in fear. If he was with Ususki, she was a rebel. Well, Mikrochan did say that you were nice to her and the only noble that cared for her. Not for her body, not for her status, but just for her. So I'm going to offer you a chance of redemption. Join me in my revenge and you will be welcomed back to the Suskis once again, Grandma. And all crimes will be forgiven, Nato said. Hagia became shocked when Nato called her Grandma. She smiled. She always wanted a family as she let out a few tears. Fine, I accept. But what's the plan, Kaguya asked, as Nata explained her part of the plan. He only explained her part, as that was the only information she needed to know. It was nice meeting you, Grandma, and for your sake, I hope you don't betray me or let me down, Nata said, letting out his killing intent. Kaguya's eyes widened and was happy every time Nata called her grandmother, but got scared when he felt her. His killing intent surpassed everyone she knew, even Ishiki Ususki. Kaguya nodded as Nata left as Zetsu turned to her. So mother, what's the plan? How do you use him for your revival? Zetsu said. Nothing. We go along with this plan. I finally get to redeem myself and I finally get to be with my grandson. I finally get to have a family. Ashura and Nato will be my family. Also, we can't beat him. Do you see that killing intent? Do you see the power behind that? Kaguya said. Fine, I'll start with a the plan then. Zetsu said. Nato then rushed to the bridge to see an heavily injured Kakashi and a near death Sasuke. Sasuke had one of his Sharingan eyes sliced out and Kakashi was fighting with blood running down his Sharingan eye. Nata Baka, where have you been? Sasuke is nearly dead because you were late, Sakura said as she ran and tried to beat him in the middle of the fight but Nata bitch slapped her into a tree. If you ever hit me again, I will kill you, Nata said, releasing Ki. Nata stopped that. We're in the middle of battle. Stop picking fights with your own teammate, Kakashi said. Nata bal... Nata barely managed to hold back his killing intent at Kakashi. You didn't stop her, Kakashi. Are you one of those villagers, Nata said, with the purpose of scaring Kakashi, thinking that, trying to trick Kakashi that Nata may have found him out. No, 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 no. Nata, I'm not. You hurt her, that's why. I went off on you, because you would hurt her, when all she did was fail to hurt you, Kakashi said, lying. Of course she would get hurt. She's not a shinobi. She's a bitch playing ninja. We'd probably be Gata's next plaything soon, Nata said, scaring Kakashi. So anyways, what should I do, Kakashi, Nata said, making Kakashi get angry at the lack of sensei and the fact that he wasn't respecting him. It was also very rude for Genin to, to address a journey that way. Perhaps later on when they get back to the village, he'll get some villages to beat on Naruto like the good old days Kakashi fought. Naruto, Zabuza is still alive and kicking and is currently fighting us. You are to assist me getting Kakashi said. Fine, let's get this over with then, Naruto said as Zabuza charged at him as they both engaged in hand-to-hand -hand combat. You're the kid that took my sword. It's time that I repay you, Zabuza said as he took out his sword. Yes, it was ideal that took your sword. You should have killed Sakura while you had the chance because now you're going to suffer for making me deal with that annoyance. 
Naruto said silently and Zab Zab started to use his sword against Naruto. Naruto dodged the slices, amazing everyone. Don't get cocky back, Zab Zab shouted, aiming for Naruto who dodged and had had enough. As he channeled Kuro's chakra and formed some claws, Naruto then, Naruto then deflected each of Zab Zab's hit with his ten toes chakra claws. Naruto eventually had enough and formed a giant claw as he cut off Zabuza's head, surprising everyone. Kakashi was amazed and scared. Naruto was relying too much on the Naito's, on the Naito's chakra, or what he thought was the Naito's chakra. Saka was sick. Naruto was a monster. He had just killed again. The demon killed for no reason. She needed to keep him away from her and Sasuke. He was just like her mother said, a demon, a monster, a killer. Sasuke was near death so he had no reaction. Suddenly, Gati came with thousands of soldiers. So you're the people who oppose me, the great Gato, Gato said. Gato then ordered his shinobi to attack, but Kakashi and Naruto took care of them. Saka got even more inclined to believe that Naruto was a demon, killing for no reason. They returned to Tazuna's home to see Tsunami and Inari's dead body. Tazuna started to break down and cry. Naruto in his head was laughing. Just you wait, you bastard. Your family was the one that betrayed me, that caused Himari and Botokun's death. You will suffer. You will join them soon, Naruto thought. Naruto, what happened? How did this happen? Kakashi asked. Well, Kakashi, you see, I heard his scream and I took out the two bandits and rushed to the bridge because they said you were dead and they were going to ambush you. I think they might have had a few other bandits waiting to attack after I left, Naruto said, playing innocent. Kakashi, being the lazy idiot, believed him. Kakashi then went over to comfort Tazuna. Okay, so after a few days, the bridge was built. They named it a great Inari bridge in memory of Inari. Naruto didn't care if the bridge was named after him by these fakes because they were going to betray him eventually. Team 7 left to go back to the leaf village. The journey back was uneventful. They were greeted by Lord Hokage who wanted the details of the mission. After a bit, Naruto went to his house. We now see Naruto in his house as he casted a seal to stop spying. Naruto then went into his mindscape as he met with Mikra. Hi Mikra-chan, Naruto said. Hi Naruto-kun, so what's up? I was just preparing a plan and helping, Mikra said. Well, I was wondering how the plan was going, Naruto asked. Mikra then explained everything any problems, any solutions and everything. That's good, but the plan wasn't the only reason I could. I wanted to check up on my future queen, Naruto said as Mikra blushed. Baka, don't embarrass me, Mikra said. There, there, Mikra-chan, I told you. You don't need to hide your cute little blush from me, Naruto said. Mikra then hugged Naruto as he hugged her back. I miss you so much, she said with tears in her eyes. Me too soon. Just wait a little longer and we'll be happy again, Naruto said. Everything then goes to canon. The meeting with Gara to Team 7 getting recommended to the tuning exams. The only thing different was that Naruto never engaged Kankuro when, when Konomaru was being attacked. He just stood there. Uh, Sasuke was the one that saved Konohamaru. The day of the tuning exams. We now see Naruto waiting in the hall with Team 7 as Hinata's team walks in as he unconsciously unleashes some killing intent, which was the mix of 90s Krama, 10s Krama and his killing intent, making Hinata slip and land on a cloud and rock Shinobi. I leave, bitch. Watch where you're going. Are you sabotaging us already? Kurosaki said, pushing her as Yukta did the same thing. Don't push Hinata-chan, Kiba said, as the rock and cloud shinobi ganged up on Kiba in the waiting area of the tuning exams as Naruto looks around to see his targets, Gara the one tails, Yukta needed two tails, Kai Tamari the three tails, which was kind of different in this timeline. It must be due to the effects that he did, which changed time a little bit, and Fu the seven tails. He then secretly did some hand signs as Black Zetsu appeared before him but he was invisible to all the others around him. Why have you summoned me, oh great prince of those Suskis? Zetsu asked. Don't use that tone with me, Zetsu. Or should I say uncle, especially after I'm going to help you free your mother. All this hard work I'm doing to help you free my grandmother, Naruto says. Sending killing intent, causing Zetsu to feel fear. I'm sorry, my nephew, but what did you need? Zetsu asks. Well, I'm going to get you the four Jinchurikis now. Be ready to collect your gifts. In the second round, Naruto says. Oh really, it seems Christmas has come early, Zetsu says with a smile, as Naruto pulls out scrolls. You know what these are? This is a Osusuki transportation scroll. The Osuskis use this to transport living beings without killing them, Naruto says. Zetsu's eyes goes wide at this. Once I knock them out, you take them to your base. One more thing, I want the civilian council killed. However you do it, doesn't matter to me during my exams, because I'm going to cause a lot of drama in the preliminaries which will cause problems for me with the council and I can't have the council ruining my plan because I need to be in the final round, Naruto says. Very well, have them killed off. Also, I planted the, the devices you told me on the Akatsuki members. 
like you ordered, Zetsi says. As Nato threw him a spare remote. Use this if they act out of order, and they will become one of Daedra's arts. Now leave, Nato says, as he hears the proctor calling the candidates in. Nato passes the first test with easy since he knew all the answers from the future. Hey Bucker, how'd you get all those answers? Sakura asks before she was bit slapped in the face. I have a name, Gorilla, use it, or else, Nato says. And to answer your question, I saw the test while I was pranking the Hokage, so I decided to research the answers, Nato says. Well, obviously, there's no way you could have done that out of your own head, Sakura says. As Nato slaps her again, sending her into another tree. Dobe, I get she's annoying, but stop hitting her, we need her, Luchia says. As Sakura gets happy at the support, she was about to say something until Anko stops her by throwing kunai at her. Anko then proceeds to explain the rules and starts the test. Hey guys, I'm gonna go and take a leak, Nato says, as the others didn't care and walked away. Enjoy being a rich Mayo's toy, Emo. Anyways, Kramer, where's Gara? I think we should pay that traitor a visit, Nato says. Yeah, kid, it's time to show this Rakud and that bastard who killed your children his place. I'll show you, Tentos Kramer says, as he guides Nato there. Nato quickly uses the kunai to knock out Tamari and Konkro before putting on a Akatsuki cloak and mask. Nato then charges at Gara as he uses the water style water wave to make all of his sand wet. Gara tries to use sand man manipulation to use sand coffin, but his sand was too wet to control as Nato knees him in the guts, after which he activates his winning tensei gun and closes Gara's chakra points. As then he after that he sent lightning star thunderbolts to strike the chakra points. Paralyzing Gara as he does the five elemental seals and put Gara in a scroll. As Zetsu comes, good work, Nato. We got one already. Zetsu says, taking the scroll away. <laughs> to be honest, I don't know why you wait so long to capture the Jinchurikis. Most of them are weak, anyways. Nato says. Nato then rushes towards Matabi because he was being guided by Krama to her space, to her place. Windstar, Rasen's shuriken. Nato says, throwing it at the jumping Yukta whose legs were sliced off as the Rasen Shuriken then collides with her teammates, killing them. Nato then knocks her out, slapping a seal on her, as he puts her in a scroll and hands it to Zetsu. Two more left of the weak ones, Zetsu says. Yeah, Nato says as he went towards the three tails. Nato found Kai by himself. His teammates were dead, as Nato got behind him and knocked him out with a chop to the neck, as he seals him and gives him to Zetsu, as Nato then leaves to find Fu. He dispatches of her teammates quite easily as food and channels are seven toes chakra but Nato uses his Renitense gun to put the Biju under Genjutsu making it sleep as well as Fu as he does the same thing as he's done to the other Jinshurikis like seal them off and then hands it over to Zetsu. Wow Nato you managed to do in a few hours what Pain's been trying to do his entire life Zetsu says. Why did you plan to take the Jinshurikis earlier when they were weaker? Why did you wait for them to get stronger? Nato asks. It wasn't me, it was pain. That guy was stupid, Zetsu says. Nato then takes off his cloak, giving it to Zetsu, as Zetsu then explains how the Akatsuki had already caught the six tails that was a rogue and the five tails that was currently running away from his village, and how they also are gonna get the nine tails chakra from Minato by using the Edo Tensei like Nato planned. Nato then proceeds to find his temporary team, AK Team 7. Nato arrives to see Orochimaru taking the Uchiha from behind, knocking him out before placing a curse seal and then proceeding to beat up Sakura. Nato watches this for a good 10 minutes of Sakura getting beaten the shit out of her as she begged Sasuke to save her. As Nato then appears, A gorilla, take the emo and run, Nato says as she nods and grabs him and runs. So Orochimaru, I got a present for you, the ultimate weapon that will make you cower in fear, Nato says. Oh really, and what's this weapon, Orochimaru says. This, Nato says. As he pulls out an insect, throwing it at the snake. As Orochimaru starts to panic. If you've seen Boruto, he's really scared of bugs. You bugs are gross, get them away from me, Orochimaru yells. It's no wonder you avoided the Ur Brume clan. Who knew the great Orochimaru of the Sanin was just scared of bugs? You know, I've heard a little rumor that the Brume clan can make you immortal, Naruto says jokingly. Now leave, Naruto says. What will you do if I don't, Orochimaru says as he finally got the bug away from him. I'll show you my bug collection, Naruto yells dramatically as Orochimaru screams and runs away. 
After getting back at Orochimaru, we now see Orochimaru at his base, livid. The brat, he knows my weakness, he can't be allowed to live, Orochimaru says. As Naruto then locates his team, as he sees all of his so-called friends, the rookies, fighting the cloud rock and sound genin. Naruto not wanting to help, quickly grabs his knocked out teammate Sakura and Sasuke while they were distracted and gets to the top of the tower opening the scrolls being the first one there. This time Gara didn't get there because he was taken out by Naruto and Kiba didn't get there because he was getting revenge for Hinata on the cloud. Haruka then asks Naruto what happened but Naruto yes explains to him how he found them knocked out and they were separated and he was fighting the snake ninja and when the snake ninja left he left in some scrolls saying he will need the Uchiha to pass to the next round. We now go to Zetsu's point of view. Zetsu is seeing a secret civilian council meeting. Interesting, Naruto would like to know this, he says. Another interesting event had changed from the timeline was that after finding out that the Akatsuki had attacked the, the Jinchurikis during the training exams, Kuruzan had called over the five Kage. Are they were planning something, but Naruto wasn't worried. He's got his own plans and his plans would not fail. We now go to the preliminaries. The teams that made it were the rookies and one team from each of the other villages. As the third Kage came down with a body flicker with the other full Kage. As you all may know, there have been some unplanned attacks from a terrorist organization known as Akatsuki. Their goals were to catch the tailed beast. First of all, I'd like to apologize to those of you who are friends with the Jinchurikis that have been lost. We the five Kages will be looking for them. Secondly, I'd like to congratulate all of you who have made it into the second round and made it into the preliminaries. However, one of you will have to go twice during the preliminaries. So, would one of you like to volunteer or should we pick at random? Hiruzen says, as Naruto raises his hand. Hiruzen was happy because he was going to pick Naruto anyways to torture the stupid demon. Very well, Naruto. You are very brave, Hiruzen says, lying. Thirdly, the Kages will be staying here until the end and there will be an alliance that is temporary until the Akatsuki is dealt with, as they are now a danger to the Shinobi system, Ruza says. Naruto then starts laughing internally. You'll all be dead soon, even you old man, he thought. All the cannon matches went the same apart from Naruto v Skiba, and also one Shinobi from each village made it to the finals. We see Naruto and Kiba in the opposite sides of the stage, as everyone was cheering for Kiba. He saw Hinata and Sakura and Sasuke and Kakashi pretending to cheer for him. Start, the proctor says, as Kiba dashes towards Naruto with a fango fang, but Naruto dodges and throws an exploding kunai at, at Akamaru, killing him. Akamaru, no, why? Kiba yelled. Your own fault for bringing your pet into a battle. I used the best way to make you worthless, which is take out your partner, because all, into, all Inuzakas uses dog techniques, Naruto says. Why you? I will kill you, Kiba yells charging at Naruto with a taijutsu of the Inuzuka as Naruto got into his Hokage taijutsu stance and overpowered him. Disgrace but you're weak Kiba, you're meant to be the strongest in our class of taijutsu and you can't even handle the dead last Naruto says as Kiba throws a kunai at Naruto but Naruto then does some hand signs. Fire style, fireball jutsu Naruto yells, blasting Kiba out of the air into the wall knocking him out, burning him severely. Is that all? I thought you were Gonna destroy me, Naruto says. Winner, Naruto, the proctor says, as everyone from Konoha was booing Naruto. But every foragin shinobi was thinking of Naruto as a threat while also admiring his power. The leaf were actually really scared of Naruto, thinking the demon was getting too powerful. Naruto, what was that? You killed a comrade, Kakashi said. Huh? When did I kill Kiba? Oh, you mean the dog? Well, he's not a comrade, he's just a tool, a ninja tool, Kakashi Naruto says, as Kakashi narrowed his eyes. Naruto the Inuzuka will sue you, Kakashi says. Let them try, Kakashi, or leave the village. There are many other villages who'd want me for what I bring to them, especially my partner which is sealed inside me, Naruto says, flaring a little bit of his Ninetos chakra. As Kakashi starts to back off, the demon, he's starting to think more. We need to make him stupid again, Kakashi thought. For the next match, Naruto vs. Lee, the, rock, the proctor says, as Kiba woke up, and cheered loudly for Lee to avenge Akamaru. Naruto, your flames of youth has vanished. I will cleanse you of your sins for killing a poor little dog. Rock Lee, Rock Lee says. Very well then Lee, let's see your 
power of youth now to say sarcastically, pissing off Lee. Naruto charges towards Lee using his Hokage Taijutsu. Naruto dodges all of Lee's attacks, but all of his land. Well, how is Lee being bested by the demon already? Guy asked. Naruto then slams Lee into a wall with a punch. He gets up and charges at Naruto with a punch towards the head, but Naruto avoids it and kicks Lee in the guts. He then hammer Lee into the ground. Naruto then makes clones as they all start to beat Lee down, leaving a beaten down and um, bloodied Lee. You do it, Guy shouted as he dropped his weights and went to Naruto to attack him, but Naruto has bit slapped him away. Guy then shouts at Lee to use the first gate, but Lee can't keep up, so he keeps on using the gates until he reaches the sixth gate, which is the max he could use. So the sixth gate, Lee, let me show you a power beyond that of the gates, a power that only I can achieve, Naruto says, as everyone thinking what it could be. Kurama, let's do this, Naruto says, as he is surrounded by a golden glow, as the seal starts to appear over him, as he has entered KCM. Yes, he done it with past nine trip tails, the nine-tailed version, not the ten-tailed version, Kurama. The third Okage and fourth Okage are shot. A perfect Jinchuriki at this age, how they all yelled, as Naruto charged towards Lee, and one shot hit him to the ground. You were always weak, Lee. Even the gates can't help you now. When fully mastered, the gates would allow you to keep up with someone like Madra, but as you are now, you're weak and they're wasted on you. Plus, I have way more power than Uchiha Madra. Any Uchiha can never match me, Naruto says. Winner, Naruto the Proctor says. The next round's fights were selected. The only important one was Naruto's emo boy and Neji. Naruto left before Ruzenga calling him to question him. Naruto then met, met up with Zetsu. So Zetsu, I'll collect the remaining bijus. The only one I can't collect right now is Killer B because he is out hiding until the exams start, Naruto says. If you say so, Zetsu says in a bored tone, because they weren't following his plan anymore. His years of planning were wasted, but he was still grateful that Naruto was helping him. Naruto then tracked down Son Goku, who was the Suchigage's guard, so Naruto waited for him to be alone before knocking him out using KCM and Zetsu then took him to his base. Naruto then put on his Akatsuki robe as he put on a bracelet that prevented a Naito from being sensed as he used Edo Tensei on Minato and ordered Minato to put Krama that he had, the good half of Krama that Minato had into a scroll, which Minato did hesitantly as he was still under the control of Edo Tensei. He then disappeared because Naruto unsummoned him as Naruto then handed the scroll over to Zetsu. Naruto cried, I'm sorry, Dad. You okay, Zetsu asked, knowing what it was like to be separated from his family. Yeah, it's okay. Now we just need to wait for Killer B to show himself and finally I'll complete my plan and avenge my children and I'll make the stupid leaf, no, I'll make the stupid humans pay, Naruto says, as Zetsu disappeared back to base, taking Kurama with him. Naruto then went into his mindscape. Hey, Mikro-chan, Naruto says, as he was knocked over as the below hit him. I miss you so much, Naruto Kinshi says. Me too, Mikro-chan, Naruto says, as he explains everything that has happened. So, is everything ready in your end? Naruto asks. Of course, we now we just have to wait, Mikro says. Naruto and Mikro then spend time in Naruto's mindscape until the training exams day, where Naruto left his mindscape and walked to the, and walked to the exam arena. Now, it's time to show the elemental nations the power of Naruto Uzumaki Namakaze Osusuke, Naruto says. Yo, what's up guys? It's your boy Annie Z with What If Naruto Was Betrayed and Went Back in Time, Part 5. So guys, we last left off at Naruto doing the tuning exams first and second round while catching the Jinchurikis for the Akatsuki to revive Kaguya. We then saw Naruto humiliate Kiba and destroy Rock Lee, after which he captured the remaining Jinchurikis that weren't in the tuning exams apart from Killer B. So let's continue. Naruto walked to the tuning exams stage as he was walking across a alleyway when he was suddenly dragged in. After that he was kissed on the lips where he looked up and saw his beloved Mikra in her human form Genjutsu before embracing her. Mikra chan you're actually alive. Here I thought that you might be late, Naruto says, crying in between her assets. Oh my, did you really miss me that much, Naruto kun my prince? Mikra says. So anyways, babes, I'll leave you to it, Mikra says, as she walks to the stands 
When she enters, she sees the sections divided. She sees that nobody is on Naruto's side, so she goes there and sits down. Or Naruto left to the participant area. As the citizens and the visitors of Leaf start to stare at this goddess's beauty. Hey beautiful, a man says coming up to her. That's the demon support aside. I think it's here on one side. Come and sit next to me, he says, and we could cheer for Uchiha Sama together, a man says. No thanks, peasant. I'm gonna cheer for Naruto. He's obviously the strongest, Mikra says. As the man then starts to squeeze her arm. It wasn't a request. After this, you're gonna come to my house and show me a good time. But right now, we're gonna cheer for Lord Uchiha, the man says. As Mikra's chakra then begins to flare, as she starts to think that this peasant dared lay a hand on her, especially a dirty human that had hurt her man. As she grabs the man's arm, squeezing it, making him drop down on the floor as she starts to kick his dick multiple times. How dare you, you dirty peasant. Only Foxy can could touch me like that, she says. As she throws him out of the arena and walks to her seat, the Ambu tries to come and arrest her. However, she sends killing intent at them, making them run away in fear. Everyone felt fear as both Danza and Ruzen were aiming to get her on Leaf's side or for Danza to have him in his route. But right now they had to focus on the exam. After a few minutes of waiting, Sasuke finally made his appearance, like the little show of he is, causing everyone to cheer as the proctor then calls Naruto and Neji down to the stage. The match between Naruto, Lee Sasuke and Neji has been changed to a battle royale on request of the Fire Lord. The proctor says, as the Leaf Shinobi get angry at this, but they can't do anything. But the Leaf had noticed something weird about the Fire Lord. He was a bit more paler than usual. The battle royal starts now, the proctor yells, as both Neji and Sasuke activate their eyes. Dobe, just give up. You don't even have a dojutsu and you're a clandest disgrace, Sasuke says. Fate is not with you, demon. Dead lost. You might as well give up. You might have beaten that loser Lee. But I'm stronger than him, Neji says. Oh really? So let me tell you one thing. One of you is a heir to a dead clan and one of you is a slave. Let me tell you something interesting. The Uzumaki were a clan, but not just any clan. Have you not read the second Shinobi War? How we took on three great nations, decimating 75% of their forces. We did better than Emo Boy's clan. At least our clan wasn't taken out by one, one lunatic who wanted to test his power. And you, Mr. Fate. You're not getting off so easily. At least I'm not a slave to my clan. Why don't you go and clean the dishes and lick your master's boots like you're supposed to? Plus, your clan is just full of inbred scum. And they're so weak they can't even fight long range, Naruto says. Sasuke and Neji charge at Naruto. As Sasuke uses a fire bojutsu to which Naruto uses a windstar great wind bait through, sending it at Neji, blowing him up. You think your eyes are the best? Well, let me show you my dojutsu, Naruto says, and that dojutsu surpasses all. Naruto then activates his Rinishari Tensei gun. As everyone was shocked, the demon has a dojutsu. What's this dojutsu? Let's take his eyes, were well, what the people are saying. What's that? Sasuke asks. None of your business, Sasuke, Naruto says. Fine, I don't care. The Sharing Gun is the strongest, so nobody cares about your unheard unnamed dojutsu. As Sasuke charges at Naruto, Naruto dodges all of his strikes using the Shining Gun's ability to see and at anticipate attacks. While Neji tries to use the 64 palms of Naruto, but Naruto just uses his Rinnegan Gun ability to harden his body. Then Naruto uses Shinra Tensei to send them flying back, as he then uses Almighty Pool to bring them towards him. Naruto then grabs out the Rusty Kunai, yes, the same Kunai he used in the past or in the future to remove. Sasuke's pole as he then repeats the process as Sasuke begins screaming. What are you doing to my Sasuke? Sasuke yelled as the Lee citizen tried to rush in to help Sasuke but Naruto uses Shinra Tensei sending them flying back to the stands killing 15 to 20 people as Naruto then does the same to Neji. Naruto then rips out Sasuke's eyes and Neji's eyes as he then starts to stab Sasuke over and over cutting it. As he, as the blades, the rust of the blades started to drop into Sasuke and Neji's bloodstream. Naruto then pulls out some honey and places it on Sasuke and Neji. As then 
He brings out a scroll and lots of rats come out of it as they start to nibble on Sasuke and Neji, eating them whole. Nata then uses the almighty pool when they're near death too and then he seals the rats back into the scroll. So Popta, do I win? Nata asks, dropping a bloodied Neji and Sasuke who fainted from the pain. As the Popta nods in fear, winner Nata he says as he quickly calls for the medic team to come and pick up Sasuke and Neji. Luckily they were on their last leg, they were still alive. Nata then walks to the stage or seating area where he encounters Killer B going to the bathroom. Nata then quickly out of nowhere puts on his Akatsuki outfit and kicks B sending him flying out of the leaf borders as Nato flies right after him. What are you doing here Akatsuki scum? Killer B says. You're a Jinchuriki, surrender yourself. For peace Nato says mocking pain. Never B says as he charges at Nato with the seven sword style. Nato easily dodges all of his strikes. Nata then uses magnet style to take away all of B's swords. You're unarmed. Surrender or suffer a fate worth, worse than death before I kill you, Nata says. Never, B says. Dookie, are you ready? B asks his partner. Yes, partner. Dookie says as they both go into 8 tails chakra mode. So you can use the 8 tails chakra mode. Well then, let's see how you take on my 10 tails chakra mode, Nata says. As he starts to use future karma chakra mode or chorus chakra mode as he calls it. The power release was incredible but luckily Nata had placed a few seals around this area before so it wouldn't be sensible to anybody else outside of the area. How? Father destroyed the tentos Kyuki said. Yuki said. Shut up and fight me Nata and Korra says. We then charges at Nata swinging his tentacles at Nata but Nata in his tentos form easily caught them throwing me back. B then launches a tailed beast bomb at Naruto, which Naruto easily countered by deflecting it towards the land of iron mining facility where the world's metal comes from. You're weak B, I've seen enough, I've had enough of your games, Naruto yells as he fires a bridge dumb at B at 5% of his power, making B get launched out of his 8 tails mode and land unconscious on the wall as blood splattered but he wasn't dead. Nata then goes up to B outside of his KCM mood and saw a unconscious B as he sealed him into a scroll. He then gave it to Zetsu and told him to take him to Obita's hideout. Nata then sees Obita slaughtering the Akatsuki and taking Pain's eyes as Nata used the invisibility jutsu before he came to the hideout and made his chakra insensible. So Zetsu, your contact has already got us the 8 tails, I presume Obita says. Yes, now hurry up and become the 10 tails, Jinchuriki Zetsu says, before something goes wrong. As Obita does that, just that. I've done it, i finally become the 10 tails, Rain, I'll see you again. I've succeeded where Madra Sensei failed, I'm better than Madra Obita yells. As he never saw Black Zetsu stab him, as he starts to inflate and became Kaguya. Hello there, grandmother, welcome back to the... World of the Living, Nato says, dropping his invisibility jutsu. My grandson, you did it. As you promised, Kagi says, as she embraces Nato and kisses him on his forehead. Yes, grandmother, now we just need to head back to the leaf village and continue what the leaf started, Nato says, as they fly back to leaf. Zetsu catching a ride on his mother inside of the kimono, like he hid in the fourth shinobi war. Nato then walks to the stand with Kagi and Zetsu, meets up with Mikura. This is Mikura, Kage says quietly. Lady Kaguya, so you're Naruto's kun's grandmother, or at least in the past life, and you're his ancestor right now. Mikura says, yes my princess. May I have a private talk with you? She asks as both of the girls walk far away from everyone and they use a privacy jutsu because Naruto's side was literally empty. So what do you want Lady Kaguya? Mikura asks. Well, I just want to help my grandson. What do you want? Kaguya asks. I want to help my husband and Prince get his revenge and anything else he wants. Mikura says. I have one more question. Is it true that you'll forgive my crimes against the clan? Kaguya says regretfully. Naruto will become the king of the Siskis once we reach our home world. And he will forgive you, which means that our whole clan will forgive you. You're very lucky to have the greatest grandson ever. Mikura says blushing as she thought about how great Naruto was. As she remembers the first time meeting him. Kaguya seeing the smile as both of the girls walk back and drain Naruto and Zetsu. 
who were wearing their genjutsu. Mirko goes and puts her head on Nata's shoulder. So you freed Kage just like you said you would, she says. Yeah, it was easy. Gathering those disgrace of the Jinchurikis was so easy. And especially the last one. A single kick sent flying up the boulders. Nata says as both of them started laughing at how weak Killer B was. So how did you release the eight tails? So quickly, Mikra says, knowing it takes days to release the tailed beast from these hosts. Well, my Rene Shari Tensi gun has a seal breaker ability, Nata says, as they both embraced each other and started laughing at how weak these humans were. The Leaf Shinobi were looking in disgust towards Mikra and jealousy towards Nata for having such a beautiful lady on his arms. That flea bag of a dog, Kiba, was so jealous as he was just staring at Mikra's assets while Hinata was slapping him in the face. Nata then thought like, hmm, it seems that instead of liking Sasuke in this one, Hinata has a crush on that ugly flea bag, Nata says to himself. Nata was then called up to the stage to fight, which he did and absolutely destroyed the competition. Nata ended up winning every match as he walked up to the stage in Kado and Mikro, waiting for the training exam's promotion, when suddenly a boom was heard from the Kage boot, another boom was heard a sound shinobi and snake started attacking the village. However, from the skies, blue beams have dropped down, revealing several pale skin Rinnegan users. As both Kage, Zetsu, Nato, and Mikra dropped their genjutsus as they look exactly like those soldiers, as they floated in front of the Osuski armies, as the Osuski army kneeled before them. My prince and princess, shall we enact the Zero Mortis plan? The commander of the Osuskis ask. Nata and Mikra landed before the like gods as Nata looks towards the humans and then gives a smile. Yes we shall. People of the elemental nations. I Nata Osuski, the future husband of the crowned princess of the Osuskis, Mikra Osuski, declare the fourth great ninja war, Nata yells. As the shinobi charge toward Nata, the leaf shinobi at least, but Naruto uses a single Shinra Tensei, sending them flying into buildings, killing them. Naruto Uzumaki, what are you doing? Hiruzen yells. Shut it, you old bastard. You had my mother's clan killed. You schemed with the other nations to have my clan, my village, the Whirlpool village destroyed. And then you schemed to turn her into a weapon and a breeding factory. But thanks to my father, you failed. So you waited for me. I suffered because of you and your dirty race. And now you shall pay, Naruto says. As he points his hand towards the, most of the civilians, Shinra Tensei Hinata yells, killing most of the citizens that did nothing to him. Monster Hinata yells, as Naruto appeared right in front of her, grabbing her hair and ripping it off as she cried and screamed in pain. You dumb bitch, that's what you get for what you did to him and Boru, Naruto says, not wanting to use their names. What do you mean, she says, crying, as she was in pain. You don't understand, do you? Well... You don't need to know, just like how I never ne needed to know that I was the Naito's Jinchuriki. But just know this that you and Sasuke started this, Naruto says, as he starts to beat the shit out of her. Sikiyomi, Naruto says, chucking her in Itachi's Genjutsu, in which she sliced her over and over again until she passed out from pain. Even then, in her sleep, she screamed from pain. Naruto then walked up to Sakura as he dodged the punch she threw at him and then gut punched her. You always did think you were that, didn't you, you stupid bitch? You're nothing, Naruto yells, as he punched that unmissable target off her forehead. Again and again, as she screamed out in pain, Naruto then pulled out a chair that was strapped to the ground. As he, she started struggling and screaming, trying to get out of Naruto's hold, while Naruto strapped her into the chair. What are you going to do to me? She says, in fear and pain. Oh, nothing much. Let's torture you, Naruto says, smiling as Mikra laughed. Naruto, can, can I return after you, pretty please? Mikra asks. Of course, Mikra chan. The more the merrier. In fact, everyone here from the Suski army can do whatever they want to the survivors, Naruto says, as the armies charge, intending to torture the civilians. As Naruto tells them to stop, as he tells them to make them watch, as Naruto pulls out a baby centipede, to which Ochima gasps and screams, please don't let the bugs hurt me, while Kabuto hugs him. And they both cry for protection together as as Kabuto also had fear of bugs. Naruto Uzumaki, as your Hokage, I demand you to stop this, Hiruza says, as he is punched by one of the Osusuki guards. This Osusuki guard was Mamoshiki Osusuki. How dare you talk to our prince that way? With such disrespect, you lower, you lower life for me, he says, as he yanks out Hiruza's eyes for the disrespect. Hiruza screams in pain. Naruto then puts 
the baby centipede in Sakura's ear as a poisonous centipede crawled around her brain as she screamed out in pain. Stop it! I beg you, someone help me! Take it out! Mom, Dad, Sasuke can... Sakura yells as Naruto smashes a hammer on her kneecaps. Stop screaming! You. I don't want to hear your dirty voice, you're giving me a headache already. Ah! Sakura screams out in pain as blood rushes out of her knee. Stop it! yelled the remaining civilians, Shinobi and Kage's as Naruto tried to rip one of her nails off. Help me please! Sakura yells as the Shinobi, recovering from the shock and brutality, charges toward Naruto, but Kinshiki blasts them away with a Shinra Tensei. Weak, disgraceful, to think that Naruto Summer was once of you, you lot, he says. Naruto then rips her remaining nails as she screams out in pain continuously. This is for Boruto and Himawari, Naruto whispers in her ear as he kicks her in the stomach. As Mikra then walks up as she places a device next to Sakura's ears and turns it on as the centipede started to grow. The centipede got bigger and bigger before Sakura's head explodes while she screams in pain. Naruto and Mikra laugh with the army as the elemental nations look down in terror. Sasuke's eyes evolve to the free Tomori as he rushes towards Naruto. Naruto allows him to enter by secretly giving a command to the army to let him get away. Sasuke tries to punch Naruto. Naruto dodges. Naruto kicks him. Sasuke goes flying back as Naruto uses Almighty Pool, stabs him in the arm. As Sasuke tries to punch Naruto by flaying, failing his arms around, but Naruto had enough of this and seals away his chakra. You'll be the last to die, so just wait your turn, Naruto says, as he sends him flying back with another kick, as Ino, that stupid whore, rushes and cushions his food. As another Suski appears in a beam of light, my prince, the ninjas of the other villages have been killed under your orders, Urushiki says. Good, Naruto says, as the Kages got pissed off. You'll pay, you traitor, the Kage said, as they rushed towards him. Love style, love a monster jutsu, Mai says, using out Naruto as Naruto dodges it. Raikage then manages to punch Naruto, but unknown to him, Naruto let him punch him. Right, the Raikage was using his lightning armor, but Naruto catches his punch and then sends A flying into a wall. Mai appears behind him, launching a lava attack at him, which gets him as I uses a lightning chop on Naruto. You will talk, Prince A says, as Mizukage and him starts to laugh. But then A was kicked into the Mizukage, which sent them flying into the Hokage Hiruzen. You think a mortal like yourself can hurt me? I'm not even using a percentage of my power, Naruto says. As Oniki appears behind Naruto and uses particle style, but Naruto zaps behind him and chokes him to death. Naruto then stabs the Mizukage with his sword, killing her. A and Hiruzen appear. As Hiruzen hits Naruto with the monkey stuff, making him go back a little. Hmm, show me the strength. Show me the strength of the Kage, the strongest ninjas in the world, Naruto says, as he kicks Hiruzen in the balls. As Hiruzen screams out in pain, that was for my clan, Naruto says, as he kicks him again. That was for killing my mother after she survived the Nine Toes attack. That's right, I know, Naruto says. As then he jabs a rusty kunai, cutting off Hiruzen's balls and pole. And that was for everything else you've done to me, all the torture I had to endure. All the nightless nights without my mother, Naruto yells. You damn demon, your clans are slave for the leaf, Hiruzen yells enraged, as Momoshiki kicks him in the guts. How dare you say anything about the prince's glorious clan, he says. Now, Naruto says, as he uses almighty pull to pull Hinata towards him. Kiba tried to save her, but he was too beaten by the army to even move a single inch. No, not Hinata chan Kiba yells. Now you dirty whore, it's time for you to be tortured, Naruto says, as he straps her into an execution stand. As a light comes from the moon and out came Toneri Osusuki as he takes off Hinata's clothes. Now, now, my Hinata, Prince Naruto has offered me to you in return for my loyalty, Toneri says as he licks her face, as Hinata screams for help, but nobody could get to her. Kiba tried to move himself, but he was too weak, as Kiba watched as Toneri had fun with his girlfriend. After some time, Oh, Toneri Sama, how can I serve you, Hinata says. Hinata, who do you love more, that mutt Kiba or me? Toneri says. You of course, Toneri Sama, Hinata says. Then shouldn't you thank Prince Naruto for introducing me to you, Toneri says. Yes, thanks Naruto Sama. I'm sorry for faking that I liked you. I'm thinking that you're a demon. You're a god. You gave me my perfect husband, she says as Hanabi and Zashi looked in anger at seeing their family member become their enemy's plaything. 
Why are you doing this, Kiba Yells? But not to crying. Why should I tell you anything? Did you tell me why the villagers wanted to kill me when I was younger? When I was small? When I was wondering why everybody hated me? Well, guess what? You're the demons. You hurt a kid. Even a nine toes doesn't hurt kids, naughty yells. As Grandma and Kura agreed. But anyways, it's time for the final event. I've grown bored of this world. Naughty says as he straps Sasuke onto the execution stand. It's time to execute the one this village of the most. And the one who will execute him is Naughty says as a black woman with a shine gun that looks like a zombie walked out. Mum, the emo bastard yells. Mikoto Uchiha and Edu Tensei are revived. He cleansed the Uchiha clan, the only good Uchiha in this world. Mikoto Uchiha, I thank you for looking after me when you were a kid, Naruto says. Mikoto smiles at Naruto as she walked up to Sasuke with a glare. She then grabs the axe and gets ready to slaughter and cut his head off. Mum, stop, we need to avenge the clan. Our noble clan, Sasuke says, as Mikoto starts to laugh. Noble Sasuke, my dirty, evil spawn of a son. There is nothing noble about our evil clan. Let me tell you the reason why our clan was killed off in the first place by Itachi Mikotus in the mic, ignoring Hiruzen's attempt to stop her. As the Wasuski guards start to beat on the old monkey silencing him. Well, you see, we were planning a rebellion against the village, Mikotus says. The village were shocked. Luchi are traitors. I knew they always looked down on us, another said. They acted like Every single thing was owed to them, even that bastard did. And I said, that's not owed, Mikoto says, shutting them up. You see, it was Anuchiha that released and controlled the Ninetales to attack the village on that night. Yeah, there, yeah, that's right, you stupid villagers. It wasn't Naruto Kun that hurt you. It was Anuchiha. That's right, it was Sasuke's clan. It was unfortunately my clan, Mikoto says. Burn the traitors, kill the Uchiha's. Fuck the police, I mean, Uchiha's. Fuck the Uchiha's. That's not even the worst, Mikoto says. As you know, Uzumaki, Senjus and Uchiha's are the descendant of the Sage of Six Paths. But while the Uzumaki and Senjus are descendant of Ashura, who is the good son of the Sage of Six Paths, who wanted peace, we Uchiha's are descendant of Ashura, the evil son. Mikoto says, the Uchiha's are evil. I knew it. Kill him. Kill the Uchiha's. That was all that was heard throughout the village as they all heard a laugh. The survivors looked up to see it was Naruto. How does it feel, Sasuke, to have everybody turn on you? That's how I felt. Now die, Naruto says, as Mikoto chopped off Sasuke's head. Now the people of the Elemental Nations, you've now seen the truth of who the Uchiha's truly are and how you doomed the only good son of the, the only good descendant of the Sage of Six Paths. I'd say it was good to know you, but I'll be a liar and I don't lie. So long, Naruto says, as he, Mikra, Kaguya, Zetsu and the army start to fly up. As Kage did some hand signs and the divine tree appeared as all the living beings were being absorbed and then a chakra fruit appeared. Finally, the zero mortal plans are complete, Naruto says as Mikra kisses him. Naruto can we won, she says. Of course, was there any doubt? Anytime Naruto's on your side, you win, Naruto says as Mikra hits him on the arm and she starts to laugh. Okay, Mr. Ego 100, let's take the fruit back home to father and show him that we complete the mission, Mikra says. As Naruto and Mikra are escorted home by the armies of the Suskis. When they get there, the army tried to arrest Kaguya, but Naruto stops them. Seeing that the prince stopped them, they escorted them to the council room. But Kaguya was not to be alone, was the condition to which Kaguya agreed. Father, Mikra says. Father in law, Naruto says. My king, Kaguya says, as they all bow down. Sir, how is the mission? The king says. It was so cool, Naruto was like bam pow, Mikura says, imitating Naruto's fighting moves. And then he beat the evil humans and then completed the plan, Mikura says, as the king chuckles at his daughter's innocence. So the mission is complete now. Now on to other matters. Kaguya, you deserted the clan long ago, as Kaguya looked down ashamed. But your desertion gave us the greatest assets. Your descendant, Naruto, aka the next king of the You are forgiven for your crimes, as long as you accept raising Naruto as your own grandchild. A boy needs a family and happiness, the king says. I accept those terms, she says as Naruto glomps Kaguya. Thanks, Granny, Naruto says. Now enjoy yourselves, the king says. We now skip to Naruto being the age of 18. Over the years, Naruto has conquered and devoured many planets and have became the strongest in the universe. We now see Naruto and Mikro in the bedroom as they have just gotten married. Naruto-kun, it's about time you put a child into me. I've been waiting for years, she says, pouting. 
and I will, my beautiful queen. Naruto says as he takes off her clothes and she takes off his and they have fun. Two months later, after a month of having fun non-stop, Rekha had been vomiting a lot lately in the morning. She had the family doctor check on her. The doctor then says something that made Mikra get so happy. As when she found this out, she rushed out of the room and finds Naruto and hugs him. Honey, guess what Mikra says? What? Naruto says. I'm pregnant, she says, as Naruto faints and she laughs. When he wakes up, he hugs and spins her and asks her if it's the truth as she nods her head. I'm going to be a daddy, shouts. Time skip five years. We now see a little girl going to her dad who is sitting on the throne room. Papa, Papa, she yells as Naruto looks at her. This was Naruto Suski, the king of the Suskis. Papa, you're so cool. I learnt about your adventures and elementary nations in school and how you saved Great Granny Kaguya and beat the evil demon that stole Great Granny's chakra. Yes, Miru, my cute little daughter. I'm so great, aren't I? Naruto says as he then felt someone slap him and he looked to see it was Mikra who had his, her head on his lap. Don't you pass your ego down to a cute little angel, Mikra says. Hey, I'm not little, Mi Mi Miru says, pouting. Anyway, guys. That's all for this series. I hope you enjoyed it and peace.